Hello everyone. Before we start this video, I just wanted to take a minute and show you these blossoms. Are these not beautiful? This is an ornamental cherry tree and I'm telling you, the blossoms are so, so beautiful. And they will, in a few days, they'll fall off and then the ground will just be this beautiful color of pink. But they've been bloomed out. They just don't last long enough. I guess that's the only uh, thing I wish that they last longer. But let's go see what's on the front porch. You don't care to be in my YouTube video, do you? I don't reckon. All right. Guess what you're bringing me? I ain't no telling. I got two more big boxes. Pretty heavy. My first uh, order of David Austin roses. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if it looked like I was standing on the porch waiting for the FedEx guy, I absolutely was. I knew that these roses, they had sent an email earlier that morning telling me that these roses were going to be shipped in an approximate time of delivery. And my friends, Junior and Sheila, had placed the same order about the same time, and they had texted and said, hey, we got ours, did you get yours? And I had not, so I knew that chances are he was on his way to my house. So, we are inside now, I have not opened the box, we'll open this together. But let me show you what I've done. I have gotten, there's three bare root roses in this box. So I have gotten three uh, pans of water. I hope these are big enough. I don't know what the roots look like. We're actually seeing this for the first time together. But if I need to uh, go up to a bigger size pot, I definitely can. But these are the 12 inch drip trays. So they're pretty big. But the first thing that you're gonna see is that it says, your rose has arrived. Upon receipt, soak your rose in a bucket of water for a minimum of two hours. Keep your rose cool and moist. Plant as soon as possible. So, like I said, these are bare root roses. That means that there's no soil, there's no foliage, and these are sold year-round at David Austin, but they only ship January through May, depending on your zone. Now, this special deal with the three roses, and I'll tell you the names as I take them out, this is on special. They're 15% off, and this goes until tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to get this video out on Sunday the 7th, and hopefully when you see it, if you're interested in these roses at this price, immediately go to David Austin and order your roses. Um, mine with shipping and everything came to $119 total. And for three David Austin roses, especially ones that are so popular, that is just an excellent, excellent uh, price there. And also, I'm gonna put up on the screen, um, if you aren't familiar with David Austin roses, they're English roses, they're bred in England, and then they're grown in Tyler, Texas, here in the States. But uh, very, very popular roses, um, very high petal counts. They're just absolutely stunning. And with the bare root roses, they will actually uh, bloom the first year. Not a lot, but they are gonna bloom. So let me quit talking and let's get this box opened and let me show you what all the excitement is about. First thing is um, we see I have uh, 
the Lady of Shalott, the poet's wife, and Bathsheba, and these are own root roses. So, let's see what else is in here. This is a planting guide, and I actually have gone on their website. There is a 10-step uh, guide that I'm gonna put at the end of this video. This is actually for a, a potted rose, which you would just omit step number one, but, um, but the rest would apply, and it tells you exactly, step by step, how to plant these roses. And now there is a five-year guarantee on David Austin roses. So, um, you know, it's really an honor to have these roses in your garden, and I'm so excited about this. So here we go. They come in a big plastic bag. So let's look down in here. This is what it looks like. I want to make sure you can see the entire thing. This is the Lady of Shallot. Look at this. Look at all of this growth on here. Look at these roots. Oh my goodness. These are absolutely wonderful. And you know what? I don't know. Let's just see if these are going to fit in there. Yes, they will. Um, I'm going to have to uh, kind of keep them pushed down, but that absolutely will work for these. And the reason that I am I'm bring they're in the house, the reason they're in the house is because uh, tonight it's going to be in the 40s, so I don't want to do anything outside. I still think it's a little bit too cold. And also, I know I'm going to have to go out of town this week, so I don't want to soak my roses for two hours and then plant them and then have to leave tomorrow for three or four days, and then somebody else has to come and take care of these roses. So what I plan on doing is just leaving these roses. This is the Bathsheba, and you can tell how, looks like maybe there was, see the new growth, the new growth right there? Look at all that. That is a very healthy, uh, rose. So we'll put this one in its little house right here and let it stay. And you, you want to get the roots in and then the water up to the crown. So I'll finagle a way to, to put these in here and then I will add more water. I can add more water and bring the water level up. So this is the last one. Wow, look at this. Look at the roots on this. This would be the poet's wife. And uh, yes, just beautiful. And I will put pictures on the screen of what these roses will look like. But uh, I am just so excited to have these. So we'll just put these, put this one. And we can actually put it in there without breaking it. We'll, we'll get it down in there and get everything tucked in. And I can, um, I can put something over it to help it stay in there just a little bit better. But those are uh, the David Austin roses. They were own root. I thought they were bare root, but they're own root. So the next thing I want to do is go through the step-by-step -step guide. And before I do that, I wanted to show you this. Now, I've been a gardener for 30 years, and I've had roses. I've had some beautiful roses. Never had the David Austin roses. But uh, I've also had a problem with rose rosette disease. And so then I got a little bit discouraged when I, my roses had that. They had to be dug up and thrown away. However, I have been in many rose groups um, the last several years on Facebook, and this is one of the products that is highly, highly, highly recommended. And as you see, it is a fertilizer, an insect control, and disease control. So by applying this, it is a granular, 
product. So uh, by applying this, you are giving your roses a really good chance at surviving and doing well. Now I will tell you that some of the roses that I did have in my garden that I've added this to, I can tell a tremendous amount of difference. And I found this at Lowe's. It's a big box store uh, here in the States. It's by Bio Advanced. That's the name of it right there. I think this was around $25, but I'm telling you, if you have a product that will save your roses from rose rosette disease, it is worth it. So this is something that, uh, that I will keep on hand and I will use, and I think you can fertilize with it up to, up to every six weeks, and you just use a small amount. But I'm just gonna keep a close eye on my roses and um, see how it goes, and you will be following right along in this process because I certainly will be showing them off. But as we go to the next section of this video, I'm just gonna put some pictures up and then it's just basically an explanation of how you plant your roses. So I will go ahead and thank you for watching this video. I hope everyone has a lovely day. And don't forget to go to David Austin and sign up for the free catalog. And if you're interested, one more day to get this great deal on these three roses. Thanks you guys. Don't forget to watch for the planning.